embassy in Manila. MMDA bike lane head Miss Ching Salinas. Of course, the Makati Business Club, represented by Mr. Alquas, Coco Alquas. Bikers United Movement, Bicicleta, and JCI Manila. Good morning and welcome to SM by the Bay. We at SM always endeavor to make SM a safe, inclusive, and sustainable place for all our shoppers. And that includes, of course, the bikers. A bike safety is one of the advocacies of SM. We have been implementing projects in line with this advo advocacy even before the pandemic. SM began its bike-friendly initiative by introducing dedicated bike lanes in key malls, additional bike parking facilities, releasing a biker's manual and bike safety videos to promote road and bike safety, first aid and motorist etiquette. As we celebrate World Bicycle Day today, our employee biking volunteers in SM malls nationwide will be riding for a cause to donate and deliver goods to various beneficiaries. We also invite you to promote to tomorrow to join our fun bike riding event in partnership with the UN Philippines with our friends from humanitarian and diplomatic communities. As biking remains one of the most popular and cost-free means of transportation, we will continue to create programs that will pave the way for a safe, convenient, and enjoyable biking experience for the growing number of bike commuters in the country. Thank you for being here with us today. Maraming salamat po at magandang umaga. Okay. Thank you for that encouraging message, Mr. Tan. We hope more businesses would be inspired to follow SM's lead in supporting bikers. In fact, that is the goal of the Business for Biking program launched by our next speaker from the Embassy of the Netherlands together with the Makati Business Club. The Business for Biking program engages businesses, government, and civil society to help Filipinos who bike to work and for whom biking is work. One of the many initiatives under this program is the Wheels for Work donation drive, which donates bikes to workers nationwide and will be launching its next round of donations this month. If you want to learn more about the embassies and MBCs biking programs, medyo, na pun. <laughs> feel free to stay and chat with us after the event. On that note, I'm pleased to turn over to P Mr. Peter Terpsta, uh, Deputy Head of Mission of the Embassy of the Never Netherlands for brief remarks. Let's give him a round of applause. Yes. Good morning, uh, everybody, and uh, thank you, uh, especially also uh, Stephen Tan, for your leadership, and uh, uh, Steve Store also for leading all the programs on biking, and everybody who is here. Um, yeah, a, a warm welcome to all our partners, of course, and, uh, and the NBC, uh, especially, who's been our partner throughout uh, the years uh, on this. Um, and most especially to, to you, all of you who came here today, and all the bikers here in the Philippines. We see many uh, cycling around here uh, this morning already, early morning, and all around the world uh, for making this day uh, possible. Uh, and I can really say that you know, if you look outside, biking is really big here in the, in the Philippines and people re really enjoy it because it's, well, it's sustainable, efficient, uh, and inclusive mode of transport. Uh, and as the world is moving towards greater sustainability um, and resilience in the post-pandemic uh, world, we're now re-appreciating uh, the value of the, the humble bicycle. Uh, and this was also recognized in 2018 by the UN General, uh, General Assembly when they uh, said that uh, June th 3 would be World Bicycle Day. Um, and on this day we acknowledge the, the importance of active transport and also its contribution to attaining the, the Sustainable Development Goals. But this day is also significant here in the Philippines because uh, at the height of the pandemic in June 2020, this is when the pilot started with uh, protected bike lanes uh, along ETSA and, uh, and that was followed up by many more programs and now you have uh, you know, hundreds of kilometers of protected bike lanes. Uh, I came from Makati this morning. I think most of the way is now protected and it feels uh, indeed a lot safer uh, to get here and to move around uh, the city. 
uh, and really the, the pandemic forces us all to rethink uh, how we design uh, and, uh, cities and how we move around and, and the need to put people at the center, not only cars, but how do we move people around in the city. And biking is an important part of that uh, uh, solution, not only to go to work, but also for, for leisure. Um, so, yeah, and the Netherlands is really with you in, in promoting this, uh, uh, and we're very happy with, uh, of course, Jed leading a lot of that, and Kevin, who you 